Oh, hello. This is Drew with Michigan Adventure Life. And this week, Kara and I are still out on the Manistee River, finishing up our Paddle of the Whole River with John and Emily for John's birthday. After the portage the day before, we're finally back on schedule. No more miles or hours to make up. And that means we can take a little later start of our camp on Government Island in Tippy Dam Pond, eat a nice breakfast, dry out the gear, and scrub out those canoes once again. And most importantly, you can filter a ton of water for the last couple days paddling down the river. Oh yeah, I definitely got all that weight up front. Before long, it's time to get everything back in the boat, get ourselves packed up and get our fishing rods in, and hit that river again so we can get on to our next stop, a portage at the world famous Tippy Dam. Crossing Tippy Dam Pond is always exciting, even more so with gorgeous weather and an opportunity to get to dip a couple lures. I string a couple diving baits along behind me as I paddle. I don't hit anything, but it gives me hope. It takes my mind off my paddling arms. And then before you know it, we're at the dam. It's time to drag out the boats onto dry land for a half mile portage. Uphill, downhill, I'm really glad I brought my wheels at least. Kara loves portaging and mud flats. Basically, anytime she can get out into the water, Kara's happy. Our last campsite on the Manistee River is the last campsite we've really found on public land. And it's by far the best. Bob's spot, I guess, in loving memory of Robert Shulman. He fished this river for 50 years. This was his favorite place on earth. If you want a big fish, pray to Bob. Bob's spot always holds a really special place in our hearts. Bob's spot is a haven in a long line of bogs and bayous on the Manistee River before it gets into the preserve areas and before you get all to that private post land. It's a high and dry spot where there's plenty of land to camp and plenty of cover to fish. And once we found out it's in Deer Creek Bayou, we even might come back for deer season. And there is one killer fire pit set up. Because we love our campfire cooking. Is it good? After a quick meal in the Dutch oven of some mac and cheese, some noodly stuff, it's time to truly relax a little bit for the first time. What a lure and the fisherman's haven on the banks of the Manistee River.
And with a lot of luck and a few prayers to Bob, we even managed to get a few up on the dry land. Sure how, John. Okay, I guess you can put that poor that poor soul back. Go ahead. Oh, Jesus Christ. Wait, where's my hook? Give it. And the Goyer. You think it's going to blow away? It's on a nail. Well, that's it for this week, folks. Uh, if you liked it, or even if you didn't, you know, throw us a bone. Give us a thumbs up. Click subscribe down there somewhere. Uh, and then ring the bell so you get a notification next week when Emily, John, Kara, and I finish out our long paddle of the Manistee River. Also, if you could leave a comment down there and, you know, let us know how it's going. Let us know what you want to see in deer season because Dick and I are out and about getting ready to track down some of those deer. You know, so also, if you could remember to share this because I won't be able to out on the river, uh, that'd be great. But MI Adventure Life. Thanks for watching, guys.